All right, we got a hot take. We got the legend. The yeah. legend. We got, we got Michael the Oracle. Oracle. Yeah, oh, that's the right. Oracle. The Oracle. That was the original. original. That was the original. The Oracle. <laughs> that's go, that's a long way back, guys. That is the blog talk. That's blog talk. That was blog talk radio days. Uh, Paul, Mario, Mike. Uh, thanks for joining us here on Hashtag Sports. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Uh, link it to the Patreon is below in the description. Uh, oh, Hashtag Golf Tournament is coming up the yes. day before the Monday night game at home. So we're going to have a charity golf tournament. We're really excited about that. Come out join us. It was a lot of fun last year. You coming in for that? Ah, who cares? Uh, so, <laughs> so the topic that I want, because Mike is a resident Jets fan. Like that's, I know. Unfortunately. I know. I'm sorry. Mike's a resident Jets fan. And I think the biggest off-season signing for Buffalo this year is Jamison Crowder because of what he's going to do to open up that offense that Cole Beasley couldn't do, and that's what I want to talk about. Hashtag Sports is proud to partner with Mr. Rogers Homes. Sean Rogers is a proud Western New Yorker and is now your Arizona relocation specialist. You can see his reviews as a top 1% agent on Zillow, Homes, and Trulia.com. Go ahead and download his free Arizona relocation guide found in the description of this video. Subscribe to his YouTube channel and, as Sean would say, God bless America and go Bills. It's funny. I will see your Jamison Crowder, and I will mess this a little bit later in the video, and I will raise you O.J. Howard. Okay. Because we're going to talk about him too. Oh, no, come on. You're loading the gun. You're loading the Bama gun for this guy? Absolutely. 100%. Uh, come on. Real tag. Hey, read the room, man. <laughs> so, Jameson Crowder, you know, I was surprised, number one, at how old he was. Yeah. Um, he's, you know, he's been around forever. I know, and he's, he's a lot younger than Beasley. By the way, I was watching the Wes Welker football life, mm -hmm. and they started to say, they said something like, oh, Wes Welker opens up so many more opportunities for smaller guys in the slot. And then they show a picture of Edelman. Then they show a picture of Beasley. Then they show a picture of Crowder. <laughs> like, they, in succession, I was like, okay, this is, he fits the mold. He fits the profile. But does this sit, does Crowder, does the Crowder signing, although he will be able to do things that Beasley does, but Beasley didn't, does the Crowder signing show you that they're going to keep consistency in the offense? Or do you think they want to expand and do different things? Because the Crowder signing tells me that this offense may not come out of the box as fast as everyone else hopes mm -hmm. because it's a similar type thing. Like Dorsey's keeping a lot of the stuff, a lot of similar type stuff in the offense. You mean why they signed him? No, no. I'm saying that like if you wanted to go in a different direction, if Dorsey wanted to do something different. Why bring Crowder? In? Why bring Crowder? In? Oh no, they, I don't think they wanted anything different. I think they brought Crowder because they wanted to have a slot receiver that was vaccinated. <laughs> <laughs> Guy's good. Guy's legit. No, he'll, he'll make you better. He'll make you better. You know, I, it's yeah. interesting because when they signed Emmanuel Sanders, we, we were saying Emmanuel Sanders is going to is going to replace poor tight end production, right? Because yeah. Dawson Knox was having struggles at the time. We're like, listen. I love Dawson and, Knox, too. Well, now. Yeah. <laughs> he's, you know, he's oh, he loves it for a while. No, I've, 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 I've been on that train for a while. Yeah. SEC. Baby. Ever since he ran over that Bengal. <laughs> Who's that giant? <laughs> I had to go back and get my Alabama tape out. Put Ole Miss? Yeah, Ole Miss. All right, let's go. <laughs> you had know, three targets. Dude, but just a <laughs> like, giant of a In November, you had three targets. You're taking Josh Allen, you're basically putting him at tight end. That's what you're doing. <laughs> That's true. But, you know, we thought that Emmanuel Sanders was going to supplant or supplement some of that tight end play. And yeah. that's not how they used Emmanuel Sanders at all. They used him on the perimeter, yeah. which is not really what I expected. Emmanuel Sanders played a lot in the slot in New Orleans for Drew Brees, mm -hmm. thought that was going to be the way that he was used, and that's not what happened, right? Crowder, I think, while everybody knocks him up to be a slot receiver, Crowder's played every, every played wide receiver position in the NFL, yeah. and he can. Beasley limits you there. You never put Beasley on the outside, never played that position. Mm -hmm. But Crowder has, and he's played in a thousand places, right? So yeah. I think Jamison Crowder allows you to be more versatile with your sets, because you can, you can put him wherever you want. I think that's the key. I think the fact that you're going to have a lot more and you know, a lot different looks. You're going to have the same plays, but you're going to have a lot of a lot of different looks. I mean, and then that's why I said I wanted to raise you the O.J. Howard was the fact that he's a guy you can split out wide because mm -hmm. he's so athletic and he's so versatile. What do you do from that? Do you put the do you put a linebacker out there? You take a linebacker out of the box. Now you got Singletary and Cook in the backfield. You already took a linebacker out of the box. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it helps that run game, which they're switching over to a zone scheme now anyway. Um, Which this line will handle just fine. It, it suits this yeah. line a lot. Yeah, a lot better. I think with Cole Beasley, um, let's say you're on a twin set or any type of Houston set, um, you put Cole Beasley over, you could 
run corners over if you want. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. You can do that defensively. Yeah. You can't do that. You can't do that with Crowder. Mm-hmm. You can't no. put corners over because now you're you splitting OJ Howard out wide. Right. You're gonna you know you're gonna right. there's just a lot more versatility. Well, I you think know, so. Crowder and everybody loves Isaiah McKenzie, right? They call him the face of the franchise. You know, everybody loves Isaiah McKenzie, but when McKenzie was on the field, there was like a sixty percent chance he was gonna get the football. Right, like it was high because the snap yeah. count was low. Yeah. Right, yeah. Crowder can do similar things that McKenzie did, and now it's not. You're not tipping your hand no. as much. I think right? that's the biggest thing. You too. want to confuse the defenses. You want to limit to what they can do to you, mm-hmm. and this just helps. Right. Well, know? personnel is you know yeah. so much, and that's the thing. I think a lot of times you know fans will watch the game and they don't always pick up on the personnel changes, but you can tell who's going to be focused by personnel. Yeah. Like. You, you can see it. And when you have a player like O.J. Howard, like Dawson Knox, those are tight ends that can get wide. That's why a player like Kyle Pitts was so coveted because he's just an animal. He can run. You do it. Yeah, he's you a, he's, animal. But he's, he's a wide receiver that plays tight end. Right. Yeah, he's right. not a tight end that plays, you know. He's, 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 blocks, but he's more like of a Jimmy receiver. Graham mold where the fact that I, Jimmy Graham could do it a lot better than Pitts. Pitts is not an inline blocker. No. And if you're coming out and you, you like, if you put O.J. Howard or Dawson Knox in, let's say, for instance, he hasn't had a good track record with it, Dawson Knox, I mean. But O.J. Howard's been a little bit better. If you put him inside on the, on the line, the defense really won't know. Mm-hmm. Okay, he, he can still be a blocker for you. He can still run routes for you in there. If you put Kyle Pitts in line, you know he's not blocking anybody. He's right. not. You know, right. he, and uh, Graham did it sparingly. Like, he was lined out wide, what, 70% of the time for mm-hmm. threes? Yeah, because he, he tried to leverage a franchise tag yeah. wide receiver. He said, yeah. I play wide receiver 80% of the time. What are you talking about? So right. that all being considered um, – I think you guys speak to it where it's the versatility. It's like, what are they going to be coming out and doing? Mm-hmm. If you go to a two tight end set um, and you got Knox and Howard, and then you have Davis and Diggs, you could just as easily run the ball as you could throw it mm-hmm. out of that set. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. And um, I think that's the biggest thing that Dorsey's going to try to do. But we have to, we can't be remiss. And, I'm so excited you know, for you guys. <laughs> I wish I was a Bills fan. Are you hearing you guys talk like this? Like, I'm thinking of OJ and Howard, I just running the seam route and a linebacker trying to cover him. I got that going on in my head right yeah. now. It's never happening. No, never. Really? And never. I'm like, wait, Dawson Knox is out there, too. Come yeah, on. No. But I, had, I do have the question. Paul, you and I have said this many times. I'm going to give you this question, Mike. Okay. There's only one ball. You have all of these playmakers and all these guys that want to eat, and you only got one ball to mm-hmm. do it. How is, is that where the leadership of Allen comes in to try to balance this offense? That's exactly where it comes in. Okay. You know, you got to make sh- And you know what? Honestly, I'm not as versed in. Uh, Bill's team history as you guys are, but I know that um, I could see maybe Stefan Diggs being a little bit of a problem. He doesn't get the ball enough, but he might be the only one I see. Now, you, tell me if I'm wrong. You know what? It's I, We talked about this before, and I think that's a got, valid point. When yeah. he first got here, I agree with you. Yeah. Diggs is a captain now, and I think that changes things, right? It's like when you have a kid, like your perspective on the world just changes. Diggs becoming a captain, I think, changed his perspective on what his responsibility is as a player, right? And because of that, Diggs is still going to get 100 targets. Let's just, he's still going to get 100 That's targets. Think, but, he may, <laughs> but he may not get 150. He may get 112. Yeah. And if you're winning 13 games a year, who cares? You're not going to Those 30 targets, you're just, it's fine. No, I, it's fine. I, I'm extending my career. But I, I see that as being career. That is true. Yeah. That is true. I see that as being the only quote unquote. Maybe problem is yeah. Like, yeah. I don't see Dawson Knox, you know, complaining hey, if he gets time three here. times in a game. But still, Dawson, Dawson Knox, Knox, what's the most catches he's had in the year? It was last year, right? Yeah, right. That's yeah. the most yeah. he's had yeah. since yeah. high school. Yeah, that's so, true. You know what yeah. I mean? Like that's he ain't good. gonna be mad. No. <laughs> he's fine. OJ's OJ's OJ. OJ's got a ring. He's good. Well, OJ Howard also yeah. completely underutilized in Tampa. Yeah. Yeah. He couldn't beat out Cameron Brake, guys. Yeah. Cameron Brake. Well, but I just always have. That, that high ceiling for him. I mean, yeah. it's funny you talk about Dawson Knox. Dawson Knox did a uh, 2022 Madden simulation, and he didn't even have 50 catches. <laughs> 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 it was crazy. <laughs> I would, if, I, if he was my tight end, I would hit him all the time. He'd be an all-pro. I, I love that guy. And he could run. By the way, I'm going to draft him again this year. <laughs> <laughs> Those so, of you watching fantasy football. <laughs> so, Mar, your take is that O.J. Howard is the missing piece of this Bills offense. I'm not saying else. miss. I, I mean, you talk about an offense that was very prolific, that was really yeah. high, and there's a reason why Buff- the Buffalo Bills are the number one ranked team going into mm-hmm. the season. You start to talk about the pieces that they've added. I think a- adding Crowder 
gives you more consistency. Mm -hmm. But when did we see the Buffalo Bills offense start to make strides is when they did new wrinkles. Yeah. I believe Howard's that new wrinkle this year. Mm -hmm. You know, we talked about it last year. When you started when you want when you wanted to use Sanders a little bit more, when you wanted to use Singletary a little bit more. Anytime they changed something up last year, the offense got more and more explosive. Right. I think Howard is that guy. It could be it could be James Cook. I could be wrong. It could be Cook. But I like the I like the potential of this guy and just how much of he's an athlete. You can line him up anywhere you want, and he could be a, he could be a force for you. I just don't think Tampa in Arians that Arians has never Arians has Arians. never utilized tight ends. That's just yeah. it's the fact. I mean, you're getting you're getting another guy who was coached by Arians. I mean, we are they've already had John Brown. Now mm -hmm. you're getting OJ Howard. So how is he going to fit in the offense himself? It's the biggest question mark for me, but I think it's the biggest upside for you. Yeah. yeah. I don't think it's a missing piece thing, though, Paul. No. I think you guys are fantastic. I mean, you guys were the best offense. I, I, don't know. I, I, I think. I don't fantastic. think Kansas City got better. I think no. Kansas City they got, got worse. Market they got worse. worse. But you remember, you, you came down ball. to a coin yeah. toss. Yeah. A coin toss, I believe, from going mm -hmm. to the Super Bowl. So, yeah. uh, well, you know, I, I, did you get better? Yeah. Do you, do you need a missing piece? No. I think this is just icing, man. You know? Yeah. This guy catches seven, eight touchdowns, you're going to be like, oh, okay. This, this, is, this is cool. So this is put that this on is what success feels yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. 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 So you, <laughs> I guess we shouldn't fear uh, winning because <laughs> at some point, you know, there's always that black cloud that hangs over. You know, everyone's got the Bills. I, I think the Bills are winning. Everyone hates Buffalo. It's right? a 13 game season, a 13 game win season. I think this year. I think you're gonna have. It, uh, no, you said you, you said the 13 wins in the schedule. You, say, you right? said I actually had more than you. You said 12 and five. I said 12 and five. Well, I said they were they already at the division. Forgot that extra game, games. but yeah. I, you're gonna win 13. You know, New England's probably gonna win 11, mm. and I think you know nine or ten for uh, for, for, Miami. for Miami, and I think you know the Bill, or the Jets will win uh, maybe two or three. No, they're horrible. No. They're horrible. They'll win five. Robert. If you're listening, get out now. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible.